Africa bears nine global biodiversity hotspots. It's home to over 60,000 different plants and a myriad of animals and microorganisms. BMZ is worldwide the biggest provider uh, of biodiversity finance, specifically for megadiverse developing countries. It goes back to a commitment in the late zero years, 2008, when we committed uh, to increase our budget. And it, the last numbers we had was an annual uh, sum of 1 billion uh, euros. And uh, I think it's needed to support our developing country partners in providing help for conserving their biodiversity. The economic potential of biodiversity-based products on the African continent still remains largely untapped. South Africa is one of the mega diverse uh, countries uh, in the world and therefore the use of our natural resources is very important. Our policy drive aligns with the uh, Convention of Biological Diversity which ensures that uh, whilst we are conserving there's also sustainable use of our natural resources and also ensuring that access and benefits are shared. The Marula tree, present in many southern African countries, is a good example for the potential of biodiversity-based products. Here in the Eodafanu Women's Cooperative in northern Namibia, Marula is still harvested the traditional way. Apart from being used as food and juice, the kernels are processed to extract valuable oil. <laughs> when we were kids, our parents always used to tell us how valuable marula is. When you crack the fruit, they said, you can make oil and sell it. But always be sure to keep some marula at home and eat it together with chicken. Hey. The Nagoya protocol has certain rules how to share benefits out of the use of biological resources. And therefore the implementation of this Nagoya protocol is key for BMZ. Access and benefit sharing ensures that countries and ecosystems that provide genetic resources benefit when plants, animals and microorganisms are accessible to research and product development. We do have a variety of plant species that lend themselves to bioprospecting and biotrade sector. This includes um, the marula tree. I grew up eating marula um, and also drinking marula juice. Um, uh, there's, we also have a uh, rooibos, which is a health tea, especially for the international markets. People know more about rooibos than Baren Salamur from the Wuppertal Original Rooibos Cooperative in the Western Cape region of South Africa. This area is full of rooibos wild population. The highest density of wild population in this whole production area in South Africa is here in Wuppertal. Rooibos is who we are, what we are. It is part of our culture, so you, you can't rooibos without including these people that live here, that stay here for so many generations. And that is why I was so excited to take part in this access and benefit sharing after the acknowledgement of the TK, that, it, that the, the Khoi and the Sun people, they are the, the, the knowledge holders, the traditional holders of, of the Ruebos. It's a question of uh, general justice. You cannot allow enterprises doing something uh, economically viable without sharing it with, uh, with those countries who actually uh, hosted this uh, part of the world heritage, the biodiversity. The knowledge that we do have is now acknowledged by, by the industry. And I must tell you, when that happened, to acknowledge it in public, it is just if we get something of our dignity back 